Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this week's Sketchbook Sunday. This week the topic as chosen by you guys is how do I make my posing more fluid? Uh, as always, the topic for next week's video is chosen by you guys, so may make sure to vote for your favourite theme up in the top left hand corner here. I will be making a small announcement at the end of this video in regard to commissions, but for now we've got our cup of tea, we've got our sketchbook which is the Moleskin Art Plus sketchbook. It is almost full! I say this practically every week but we are getting close, I think there's like five pages? I don't know, I can't math. Um, but there is, I will be doing a sketchbook tour and a review of this once this sketchbook is full. But for now, uh, the tools that I'll be using today is just something as simple as a ballpoint pen. I do have my pencil crayons here in case I decide for colour and I've got my nice hot cup of tea. Oh, it's so nice. It's a lovely colour today actually. <sighs> lovely. Okay, let's get in and let's discuss. Okay, so I'm going to turn my uh, sketchbook actually landscape so we can get more paper and we can actually show you. So, the key is with posing is to try and not make the body look as stiff. And this can be quite difficult even when you're thinking of quite a static pose. I'm just going to draw like one of my generic body shapes, which is me putting down the building blocks of exactly what I want to do. So this is, let's call them stickers, okay? And this is just a generic pose. Um, we can flesh that out and round out our shapes a little bit more. But like this is just a generic pose. And I see this a lot in when people are drawing. And these are fantastic for turnarounds. And they're just static poses, um, which is very simple to get the body shape out and to show you what the character design looks like. And nine times out of ten people will use these sort of stiff posing in the character design um, just to be able to show the flesh out of their character. And you'll notice that people will do a front view, back view and a side view. And this is uh, the character turnarounds so that you understand how a character is posing. But this is too stiff. Uh, it doesn't shape, it doesn't move, it doesn't flow. So how can we change this and make it flow? And if you're going to do a standard, uh, just a standard standing pose, hit standard standing. So what I normally do is it depends on your character traits. If a character is more confident, they tend to be more open about their poses. Their poses tend to be out like this. Chest is puffed out. Their arms tend to be a little bit more wild, a little bit more out there. They move, they animate a lot. And because they animate a lot, you're going to want to give them a very, I don't know, a pose that it, it shows off their confidence a bit more. Straight away, this pose, it has more movement in it. It flows better. And the way to think about it is uh, with your body posing is you always want to kind of use a little bit of an S shape in there. Bodies move, they curve, the weight dependent on the sides of their... Huh, let me, <laughs> let me rephrase that. So when you're standing, one part of your body is almost more dominant than the other. No one's sides are completely perfect. So when someone is standing still, one side of their body tends to be more, their more dominant side that they're leaning on. So you, when people stand and they stand still, You'll notice that people's hips will tilt slightly, depending on what leg they're leaning on. So this is classed as our dominant leg, and this is our class as our non-dominant leg. And even though people aren't moving, they are still, their body is still moving in shape. It's still creating this sort of like interesting shape that it flows in. So when you're thinking about posing your character, you're thinking about how is this character posed? How can I create this shape more interesting? How can I make it flow more? And it's all about the tilts of the body. If you have everything stiff and in one straight line, it looks sort of uncomfortable. It doesn't look like it flows, that the body moves, that the body's shaping and it's like a 
You almost want to use the character's pose or like as if you're taking a snapshot of their animation. And what I mean by this is when people stand still, they don't stand still. They don't just stand in a straight line like this. People's bodies curve, they go into interesting shapes. Even when you've got a person that's standing to the side like this, more confident people tend to have their chest pushed outwards. Less confident people tend to curve inwards. And this is how you can create a body with a lot more shape. Notice how the person with their chest pushed out much more looks more confident. They look like they are pushing themselves forward. Whereas the person who is leaning in, their whole body sort of like crumples in. So imagine like you've got yourself a, oh, I need a bendy, bendy thing. I need a bendy thing to show. Okay, so imagine this is your body. And when you're stood still, you're not quite stood still. Your body is moving, it shapes, it twirls. When you're walking, your body isn't stiff. Your hips move when you walk. Your torso moves when you walk. The faster that someone walks, the top half and the bottom half will move more frequently. But the slower someone walks, these curves are much slower. So the key to making your posing flow more is to think about the way that the person is stood. This is actually really great for me to show this. Um, so if a person is stood straight, even straight people, they might have a slight curve to the top of their back or their hips, maybe they're leaning back and their hips are leaning more forward. Um, one of my favorite things to draw is if someone's thinking is, I'll draw the head more forward, but I'll draw like their spine leaning more in and it looks like their arm is resting like this because this creates a more interesting pose. I always try to think of shapes when I think of bodies. So how can you apply this dynamic to drawing a pose that's freer. Well, the sim when you're breaking down your body, you're breaking it down into simple shapes. As you can see, I have done like here like a few times. I'm showing how the body is moving because the body is constantly moving. You don't just stand straight. If you're standing straight, you tend to shift your weight a little bit more to make yourself a little bit more comfortable. So when you're thinking of how the body moves and thinking of your characters, think about how the poses can change, how you can make your poses a little bit more interesting. What I do highly suggest is doing live drawing. Uh, live drawing really can help you to break down a person's body shape and understand how the body moves. But I understand not everyone has the time to go to live drawing lessons. This is why sites like Senshi Stock and Pose Maniacs really can help you understand how the body works. So when I break the body down into simple shapes, I'm thinking about how that body is working. And you'll notice I don't always tend to keep my hips on the same alignment as my shoulders. And that is because I find that really stiff. I like to tilt the body shapes. I like to make them look a little bit more, more interesting and help them flow. And you'll say to me, but what if I do just have a character that is stood straight? It's really simple. You can change a, a character's body language by thinking about that character. If your character is shy, the body tends to crumple in. If the character is more confident, the body tends to push out a bit more. And I really hope that this helps. Um, it's something that I really do like to talk about on streams very often. And it is something that I have touched on a few times in the past. Um, just trying to find the page now that I was using as an example. So, you can see this pose is too stiff. And it's because the pose is straight on. By making a character's body part move at the top, you're creating a different shape and dynamic and, and talking about the character's posing. Yet again, this pose is too si stiff. So by shifting the hips and shifting the leg and shifting the, uh, the torso part, all while keeping in mind of your character's characterization, you can really, really help make a body move and really help your character's position flow better. It is something that I have touched on a fair few times and it is something that 
I am very passionate about because with anatomy and with everything that you're learning, you're always learning every time that you draw. So don't think that when you're going to draw and hopefully these tips do help because this is stuff that I like to do. Um, remember there are literally hundreds of tutorials available online which will really talk about how to break down a body shape and really help you um, because this is a subject that I can, if I touch on lightly, there's only so much information I can give you. And if you did want me to go really deep into this, I'd have to do a series of videos and let me know if that's something that you're interested in. I really hope that these tips have helped you in any way, shape or form. And I really hope that this kind of helps you think about how your body is moving and think about your posing that you're doing. Remember that there are shapes within your body. Think about the curves. Always try and create a curve with the body because even if a character isn't confident, even if a character is shy, even if they do crumple in, their bodies still have shapes that are not just stiff. Your body it has movement to it. Think about how everything flows. And if it sounds really weird, watch videos of people just simply moving. And I love watching dance videos because I find that when a person is have no words but having to use the music and their body to portray emotion you can really understand how to make your posing flow and make it much better so i really hope this has helped and i really hope that you guys have gained through your tips from it let me know in the comment section down below if you would like me to broaden on this on a series of videos because it is something that i can definitely talk about much in clearer and make and help you understand it a little bit more um it is something that i'm still learning on and it's something that i am very passionate about as well so remember the key points when you're thinking about posing or make, trying to make your posing more fluid is remember that the body is always moving even if the top part is stiff the bottom part may be moving slightly to create a more interesting shape you want to create interesting shapes when you're thinking about your posing. You've got to think like, if I completely blacked out this, would you still be able to tell the type of character and the type of posing that they're doing? And maybe, ho hopefully that will help you within your drawings. I hope this has helped and maybe like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for the announcement because I've got something to announce to you. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Hello guys, this is the announcement. The announcement basically is that I have commissions available upon my store. Um, I know it's not a huge announcement, but I know a few people have been asking, um, and this is to help raise funds for a computer, because my computer broke back in October, and I've been slowly trying to raise funds to basically replace it. So I'm offering A6 to A4 watercolor commissions, as well as super cute Polaroid commissions, and some ink wash commissions which you may have seen an example of when I did my Zilla piece. I really cannot thank you guys enough for like all the support you give. Without you I would not be doing what I do today and I truly do appreciate it and wholeheartedly do appreciate every single one of you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope it has helped you in some way. Please let me know if it does because I always tend to ramble when it comes to stuff like this just to try and make what I'm saying come across correctly because I'm not the best at explaining what I mean. <laughs> hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Maybe like, comment, subscribe and as always folks, stay creative. Bye!